Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is Tennis Now presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, delivering wow customer service every day. The WTA Finals are underway in Singapore. Before wrapping a ribbon around the season though, we're unveiling our top five women's matches of the 2016 season. Counting down backwards, we begin at number five. Victoria Azarenka stopped Garbina Muguruza 7-6, 7-6 in the Miami Open round of 16. Take two top 10 players meeting for the first time, put them beneath the Miami heat, spark the fuse of intensity, and watch the fireworks erupt. How good is that? Jaw-dropping rallies were magnified by the fact that this match was played on the grandstand instead of on the stadium court, giving fans a very intimate view of the rallies. Vika would go on to shred Svetlana Kuznetsova in the Miami final to capture her 20th title. Azarenka joined Steffi Graf and Kim Clijsters as only the third woman in history to achieve the sunshine sweep, winning Indian Wells and Miami championships back to back. She's done it, Victoria Azarenka into the quarterfinals. Look at that reaction. Our number four match happened last month in Wuhan, and it was an epic. In a grueling clash of Grand Slam champions, Petra Kvitova converted her seventh match point, subduing world number one Angelique Kerber 6-7, 7-5, 6-4 in a titanic three-hour, 20-minute marathon. What a fight. No means an easy volley. The committee of made it look easy. The match featured a tremendous 41 shot rally in the deciding set that left both ladies gasping for air afterwards and the crowd going nuts. Well, that is an energy sapping rally, to say the least. And Pat Petra Kvitova just ran out of energy in the end. Fighting off gnawing cramps and the gritty world number one, Kvitova converted her seventh match point to win a thriller. Well, she did get the serve out wide, and Petra Kvitova she asked about had enough gas in the tank to get herself over the finishing tape in this third and deciding set. Petra went on to beat five top 20 players in a row to capture her first title of the year in Wuhan. At number three, we have Monica Puig upsetting Petra Kvitova 6-4-1-6-6-3 in the Olympic semifinals. Powered by passion for her native Puerto Rico, Monica Puig made history in Rio, winning her nation's first ever gold medal. Before she beat Angelique Kerber in the gold medal match, Monica diffused powerful Petra Kvitova in an emotional semifinal of high drama and heavy hitting. In what was an astounding run, Monica defeated three Grand Slam champions, reigning Roland Garros champ Garbina Muguruza, two-time Wimbledon winner Kvitova, and reigning Australian Open champion Kerber in one of the most electrifying gold medal performances we have ever seen. Coming in at number two, Dominika Sibilkova edged out Agnieszka Radwanska 6-3, 5-7, 9-7 in the Wimbledon fourth round. 
On Manic Monday, two creative players gave us some magic. Both ladies saved a match point. Aga fought off match point in the 10th game of the second set, and Dominica saved match point with this drive. Then serving for the match, Dominika worked to the entire court, winning a very draining point. Sibakova closed a three-hour battle, firing her 56th forehand winner, collapsing to the court in joy and exhaustion. <laughs> this match was part of a life-changing week for Dominika because she got married to her fiancé Michael just days after falling in the Wimbledon quarterfinals. Okay, we have reached the number one women's match of the year. Can you guess it? Dreams can come true. If the dreamer brings defiance and a commitment to that dream, that is. Angelique Kerber did so shocking Serena Williams, 6 4, 3 6, 6 4, in the Australian Open final to seize her first ever career Grand Slam title. Angie's inspired run started when she saved a match point in the first round versus Masaki Doi. Kerber hit shots like this one to become just the second German woman in the Open era to win the Australian Open, joining her tennis hero Steffi Graf, who won Melbourne 22 years ago. It was a life-changing victory for Kerber, who rose to number two after the Australian Open and would eventually succeed Serena as world number one after winning the U.S. Open title in September. So good. One of the best moments, I had the best two weeks in my life and uh, the, the best moment of my career last night when, when I won the match point and uh, really take the Grand Slam. That was always my dream and my dream came true. And that's our top five list. Did we miss any matches that you loved? Let us know in the comment section below. I'm Grace Carter. See you next time here on Tennis Now.